Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, we're all going through stuff right now, aren't we? Uh, I'm not allowed to mention what that actually is due to YouTube's algorithms, but uh, we'll just refer to it as the Dark Lord Voldemort. During the Dark Lord Voldemort's reign, uh, we've had some companies really step up. People have been giving away free versions, free training, and so on, and today I have another example. Today, Pixel Vision 8 released their free virtual console. Actually, it's uh, not free, it's free for now. So basically, as long as the Dark Lord reigns, you'll be able to get Pixel Vision, including the Pro version, for free. And this is, again, a virtual console. It's the whole idea is you can get in there and start making games on emulated hardware. So if you wanted to go more with like the whole uh, Game Boy or NES kind of experience, that's what these hardware is all about. And by making them uh, these streamlined um, solutions, it makes it so you focus more on making a game and less on, you know, the intricacies of making a game. There's all kinds of virtual consoles out there, things like uh, Pico 8. I've covered a couple of them on this channel. And Pixel Vision 8 is one I've been intending to cover for a very long time. So here we are are on Twitter. It says, um, since most of the world is on lockdown, I've decided to make Pixel Vision 8 100% free, including the Pro Tools, for the next few months until things calm down and 0.9.8 is ready for release. It's a, personal, perf uh, it's a perfect time to give Pixel Vision 8 a try and then a link. If you follow through that link, you end up over here. Now, it's a little misleading, or not misleading, confusing how you go about getting this guy. You need to sign up, create an account, and you're buying, um, but you're not buying Pixel Vision 8 Pro. You're buying the regular version, and then once you've got it, once you've signed in and created your account, you'll be able to download either the installer or the um, the zip version. So here you see Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as Mac OS Catalina are all supported. There's also an installer for the Windows version. This is the base version of Pixel Vision 8. And you just go ahead and download whichever one is applicable to you. I used the zip version, just grabbed it, you extract it out, and you are ready to go. On top of that, you've got the Pro Tool stuff available. There's a PDF guide for how to use it. Um, but what you're really interested in is this guy right here, .pv8 files are disk files that you can load into Pixel Vision. And then finally, there's a couple of other things that are interesting here. A bunch of Lua demos. A lot of your code is done using Lua. Uh, so if you want to see examples of how things work, there are details there. We've also got a quick start guide and a user guide to get you going with Pixel Vision 8. There is a ton here behind the scenes. But without that all described, let's jump in. Now, I've already done the initial install. When you first load this guy up, you have to create an operating system. It's just a, it's, you kind of click the go ahead button, it creates one for you, and then you are good to go. And then it can be a little confusing a little tricky to figure out exactly what you want to do. So really all you need to do at this point, you want to install the Pixel Vision 8 stuff. You go into wherever you downloaded that PV8 disk from. So for example, here it's in my downloads folder, which I just opened multiple times. So here you see Lua demos and the Pro Tools. So grab the Pro Tools and basically just drag and drop them onto Pixel Vision 8. This will load up the disk like so, and now you can go ahead, open that up, and click the installer. I've already done this, so now I have the ins these tools available as well. The, the Pro tools include stuff like uh, uh, a song editor and so on. So you've actually got all of the tools you need to create a game in here, but it doesn't seem obvious right away. So first thing I'm gonna do is make it so more of you can see this. Click this little logo right here. It's like the start button, and then we just go to settings. And in settings, what we can now do, here's where you can figure what the, your virtual controller support are. So the arrows, AS, XC are default. You can change those values out. Or you can hook up a controller and just use a controller to control things. You've also got some uh, control over things like the brightness, the sharpness, the volume of our guy. But what I want to do here is go to full screen so you can see this guy. Now it's set to fill, which is actually kind of ugly. So we turn fill off, go out of full, and then back into full. Now, why are you filling? All right, maybe... Hmm. I don't know what I did wrong because I should be getting, there we go. All right, so there is a bit of a glitch there. Uh, we got it now in full screen mode and we've also got it emulating a CRT. So this is gonna give you a bit of CRT effect. To be honest, I don't really like that much. So we're gonna go back out of CRT mode and there you go. So now you've got it in kind of a bit more of your monitor being taken up here. Um, so yeah, we're good to go. We got our settings as we want. So let's head on back out of here. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll quit out. All right, so here we are at Pixel Vision 8. There's a number of things you can do here, but probably what you're gonna to wanna to do right away is go into the workspace and create a new project. So in workspace editor, just come in here and say, new project like so, I'll call this YouTube demo like that and create it. All right, so there we got our new project right here. And inside, this is gonna create a number of files for us. So we open that up and there is a ton of things we can set here. Data is your settings. So we're gonna go ahead and restart that off. So open up your data and this will open up the appropriate editor. There we go. So we're loading up the data. 
All right, so here you go. So here's where you can configure how Pixel Vision 8 works. So down here you can see our resolution is 264 by 246, I believe that is. Uh, tile map, columns, colors, and so on. But we can actually go ahead and start changing these things out. So if you want to use a different sound chip, for example, click here, click OK. Okay, so over here you can see all the various different options. So if you want to go for more like a Nintendo sound, you can drop in a Nintendo chip. You can do that for all these things. GPU, want to have more of like a Sega Master System style GPU, you can drop that in there. You'll notice that our resolution just changed as a result. You can change out the cart specs and so on. So basically, you are configuring your virtual computer at this point in time. Once you're good with that, basically just come on in, click save, and then we'll quit out. And last time this kit, okay, so you can also show this guy as a JSON file. So uh, that's what data is, data is data.json. So now we've gone ahead and created that. Let's go ahead and get some music. Now this is coming from the Pro Tools section. So I'm gonna open up the music section and we're going to get a music editor. So now what we can do is start creating music across the line. So we got different IDs, so you can create multiple different tracks with a different ID. We'll stick with 000 as our ID. And then basically we are starting on this track right here. We're just gonna start recording some music. Sorry about your ears here. So there you saw, I just created the track across there. Now we can go ahead and play that. There you go. And keep in mind, when you change out the sound design, you're gonna get a different sound from it. I could go down there and create a second. All right, stop you. Shut up. All right, so I could come down here also and put notes in individually. Like that, and now we're gonna have we got two tracks of music going. And you can actually create some really intricate results out of this. So there you go, created some music for your game. You're good with that. Just come on down here and you can just basically go ahead, save your results, and then once again, exit out. Now you've got a default game created for you that's available under code. All of your coding is done via Lua script. There is documentation on the language involved. This is very straightforward. It's gonna show you local message. This is an empty game. Like so, visit Pixel Vision empty game template. It's just dumping out a message, and then we scroll on down. We got a couple of other things. It's a full blown code editor, so you can write your code here. You can also have this write out to um, like a virtual disk partition on your machine and open up the Lua files using your code editor of choice if you want. But you can see it's pretty straightforward. You've got an update frame and a draw frame callback, and basically put your raw code in there. The initialization code is available right here. Now, I don't think I would ever want to write code in a, this kind of a emulated old school display setting. So I would be more likely to edit my code using a modern code editor personally. But as you can see, it's got a graphics, it's got a full blown Lua framework library for writing your code logic. And then once you are done, you could either come down here, run your game. Now, of course this game doesn't do much. It just displays this text up on screen. Uh, hit escape to exit out by the way. Uh, but yeah, that's how your code editing goes. So we'll just quit out of there. I don't think I changed anything, so I don't need to save it. Uh, and then you've also got palette controls, like so. And you could define the, the fixed palette for your uh, game right here, the various different IDs for your eight colors there. Uh, different systems, I believe, have different palettes. So let's go on back out of here. So actually, yeah, so we don't edit here, so we're gonna exit that out. So we'll leave the palette editor. And let's see, what else do we got? So font available right here, large, medium, and small font. So let's go over the medium font. And you see here, you've got a full blown editing tool so you can change out how each font looks. Like if we want our J to have a hat for some reason, go ahead and change the font. You're seeing that's changed right there. Uh, and then once again, I'm gonna quit that. I'm not gonna save, so we're okay with that. So you got a full blown font editor, music editor in here, uh, data editor, code editor. Um, again, we've done colors. So all we really need to do is create Sprites. So here we are, we've got sprites and tile maps. So you can probably guess if you go into the sprites section, here is where you can create a sprite. So there is your color palette. We can start basically creating our sprites. Obviously your sprite is going to be defined based off where you came in from. Uh, you've got your tools here. So you got a pen tool, an eraser tool, a line tool, or a rectangle tool, a circle tool, a color picker, a flood fill tool, and so on. Your sprites are all saved via IDs. You use those IDs to access them in your game code. Uh, you can change out the size right here. And yeah, that's kind of it. So that's how you go ahead and create sprites. And then let's exit it one more time. The final tool you're going to see here is the tile map tool. Not gonna bother getting in any more than this. And then this is just info.json for you know some of your more generic settings. So uh, description, name, so on. And we'll just exit out of there. 
And that's kind of it in a way. So some of those tools we saw, like that music editor, that is from the pro version, which is, again, free during um, Voldemort's reign. So this is a, a really cool project. Definitely something worth checking out and something I've been meaning to check out for a long time. And I got to give Jesse credit to this for uh, releasing this for everybody else. Kudos, man. Uh, gives people something to definitely play around with. And if you like the whole idea of working around with retro style hardware, this is a, a an interesting project for sure. By the way, the other thing to check out um, was this guy right here. There is also a set of Lua demos. You wanna check those out, just drop them on here like that. This will load that disc in. And if you go into the Lua demos, you shall find here. So we got, we could have done the installer, but you see here we got a bunch of music demo, mouse demo, save game demo. So if you wanna learn how to do various different things like uh, a canvas drawing. So here, here is a Lua app and you can come in here. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. So this is a full project for creating basically a paint program using Lua. And then if we use like the two key, then we got an eraser, three key, we got the line tool, four key, we got square fill and so on. So you can go in and check out the code for this guy and see um, exactly how it was done and how it was created. So if you wanted to check out how this is done, basically just load up the Lua code, jump in. So those Lua examples are definitely a good place to start so you can see how to actually code this guy. Now, once again, you can have this export out to an external disk so you can edit the Lua stuff with your, oper like your Visual Studio code if you prefer. Uh, you don't have to edit in this environment, which I would recommend because I, I love all of the tools, sprite editors, music editors, all that stuff. I like the retro approach there, but when it comes to code editing, I do appreciate a modern code editor. So anyways, that is it. That is um, Pixel Vision 8, uh, currently free, including the Pro Tools, all the stuff that you see here. So the Pro Tools is, uh, you can sort of tell by going here, the Build Tool, the Chip Editor, and the Font Tool. Those are all also included uh, completely free during the Dark Lord's reign. So uh, again, Kudos to uh, Jesse at Pixel Vision. Awesome making this kind of stuff available for everybody out there. And uh, yeah, bravo. So hopefully you guys uh, found that interesting, something to work with. And uh, let me know what you think of it in general. What do you think of micro consoles? Do you use something like Pico 8 or something else? And are you going to check out Pixel Vision 8? Uh, that's it. Uh, talk to you all later. And, uh, you know, just a couple more days. We'll get through this. A couple more weeks. You know, it, it's going to end. And in the meantime, the generosity of people is astounding. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you all later.